This mom of six boys was finally expecting a girl, but Ellen had an even bigger surprise for her. Sitting on the set of The Ellen Show was surprise enough for Cher Lair and her husband Stephen. After all, the unsuspecting parents were, not that long ago, living an ordinary life with their six boys in Apex, North Carolina. That is, until a video revealing the gender of their seventh child went viral. It just kind of washes over you, like, wow, she's waiting on us, we're the guests, Stephen told the News & Observer in April 2015. But Ellen, like millions of people across the country, had been moved by the Lair's exciting news and had a fun surprise of her own to share with the couple on live TV. Just a week before the Lairs found themselves on the popular daytime talk show then, a friend of the family posted the video of the Lairs gender reveal party on YouTube. It showed the couple slicing into a huge chocolate cake. Inside they would find pink or blue icing and know whether they were expecting their seventh son or first daughter. It's going to be blue, Cher mutters to herself in the now famous video as she cuts into the cake. When she and Steven are finally able to lift the triangular piece of cake though, Cher screams and falls backwards. The icing is pink. She knows that she's having her first daughter. The video hit the internet and had 600 viewers within a day. Before the couple could even figure out who those viewers were, they racked up more than 6 million further hits. It was a colossal number and one that led to their appearance on DeGeneres' show. So DeGeneres welcomed the layers into her program with questions at the ready. She started by asking the couple if they always dreamed of having such a big family. Not exactly, not necessarily, Cher admitted on the April 2015 broadcast. She explained that both she and Stephen come from smaller families where they're each one of two children. Because the Lair's parents' families are the same size then, their responses to the Lair's brood was not a neutral one. They think we're insane, Cher said. That's pretty much the recurring theme, Stephen said in agreement. But DeGeneres thought their extra-large family might have grown by more than just chance. She wondered if it kept growing in pursuit of a daughter, too. At the second one, did you think, it'd be nice to have a girl? Third one, it'd be nice to have a girl? Fourth one, it'd be nice to have a girl? The audience laughed as Cher responded, pretty much that. But by the time her seventh pregnancy rolled around, Cher admitted to DeGeneres that she'd lost a bit of hope that she would ever add a girl to the family. You had just given up. You just thought it's going to be a boy, the talk show host observed. We love boys. We're crazy about boys. We're the boy family, Cher said. But she also admitted, I had a longing for that thing. I'm close with my mom. She's close with hers. It's a thing. It's a mom-daughter thing that I've wondered about. I wanted to know it. And every single time she got pregnant, she did a little bit of preparation just in case she would finally have the daughter of her dreams. You see, in her family's attic, Cher had organized all of the hand-me-down boy clothes, shoes, and accessories according to the season. But behind all of that, she had a secret stash. Her husband, Stephen, described it to DeGeneres. He said, Behind the bins that are stacked six high, there's one little bin that she's been collecting little girl things in. Each time she gets pregnant, she'll get one thing, hoping this will be the one. And after the six boys, she finally gave that away and donated it. Ironically, it was soon after that disheartened donation that the Lairs found themselves slicing into their gender reveal cake full of pink icing. Part of the reason DeGeneres was so touched by the video, though, was because it was the first time she had seen parents throw such a party. And because she loved the video of them cutting the cake so much, the talk show host had a little surprise for the parents to be, too. The reason you're here is because your reaction to the reveal was so fantastic, DeGeneres told Cher. We got you a cake because I want to see a reaction from you. But anyone who regularly watches DeGeneres had to know that there was more to this gift than just eggs, sugar, and flour. So before Cher and Steven could get up to slice into this cake, the talk show host grabbed a pre-cut slice and said, I'm going to lift it up. In doing so, she revealed an even bigger surprise. It turned out that the slice of cake had a message of its own. Cher had earned an invitation to DeGeneres' Mother's Day show. During the special broadcast, DeGeneres gives away thousands of dollars worth of supplies that new moms will need for their babies. Cher was shocked but absolutely thrilled. She later told DeGeneres, good news team, that the invitation to the show was enough of a gift for her. I would have been happy with like a free latte, she said. The bar is low. We have a lot of kids and no spending money. Everything is precious and appreciated. But the most precious gift of all was yet to come. Yes, on August 26, 2015, the Lairs welcomed their first daughter, Ruby Jane, to the world. 
Her older siblings greeted her sister with a bit of trepidation, but they soon began playing with her and watching over her protectively, as big brothers do. And after a year, the Lairs couldn't have been more in love with their daughter and sister. Stephen told News & Observer in August 2016, they think that the sun rises and sets in her room. The boys even awoke on her first birthday, ready to sing to her and celebrate her big day. And considering the success of the last cake they famously served, you can probably guess what color would become the theme of Ruby's first birthday party. Pink, of course. Our videos are now translated in Spanish. Link is in the description below. Please don't forget to share the video with your friends below.